deep breaths, guys, because today we are looking at phrasal verbs. Hello guys, how's it going? And I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now, before you do anything, don't panic. I know phrasal verbs can be one of the most difficult parts of learning English, but in this video, I'm going to show you 10 examples of phrasal verbs with go. And with the examples that I give, I hope you can really take something away from this video and use them in everyday conversations. Without further ado, let's get to it. Number one is go about doing something, which means to deal with a problem, situation, or job in a particular way. For example, the team had to go about the job at work differently to try and find the best solution. Number two is to go for something, which means to try and achieve a goal. This is often used as a motivational phrase uh, you should go for it. You should try and achieve it. For example, she's going for her third medal in the competition this afternoon. All right, he likes you back. <laughs> huh? Told you you should go for it. <laughs> what? Number three is to go on, which means to talk about something in an annoying way for a long period of time. For example, the best man speech at the wedding was so boring, it went on for too long. Yeah, what's going on and on? I finally lost it. He was just all apologetic about how he's changed. And he was just going on and on and, and I believed him and I'm an idiot because I always believe guys like that. And Number four is to go into something, which means to investigate or inquire into something. For example, my first book goes into my relationship with my family. I have any idea what he had to go through to get me that much? I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. Number five is go around, and this means to move or spread from person to person. This is often used with the progressive form of the tense, i.e. the ing form. For example, there's a nasty virus going around the university. Make sure you wash your hands. We can also use this one to talk about information going around from person to person. For example, the news about him losing his house went around the neighborhood very quickly. Number six is to go through with something, which means to proceed with something even though there are difficulties. For example, Colin will go through with the surgery even though it might kill him. Just gonna go through with it? What an athlete. Just gonna go through with it? What an athlete. Almost have to go through with this, right? Yeah, yeah. Number seven is to go back on something, which means not to keep your promise or your word. For example, John didn't trust Carlos after he went back on his promises. Number eight is go with, which means to match or to suit. This is often used with items of clothing. For example, that t-shirt didn't go with those trousers, or those shoes didn't go with that skirt. You gotta put the sword down, Diana, please. It doesn't go with the outfit. At all. You gotta put the sword down, Diana, please. It doesn't go with the outfit. At all. Number nine is to go over something, which means to review something. For example, for the exam, Tom had to go over his notes carefully.
And finally, number 10 is to go without, which means to not need or use. For example, I'm trying a new diet where I go without beer for a year. So there we are guys, another video done for you there, and I hope I helped you with some of those tricky, tricky phrasal verbs. Now if I did help you and you want to practice, why not practice in the comment section down below? And afterwards, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. Once again, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you next time.